previously on Family Guy. Dad's working for the Trump White House? Uh, hey, Stewie, can we do that again? Maybe a little more energy? Uh, no. I, I think we can use it. Oh, yay, that's awesome. Wow, the White House is great. There's no wonder you spend two days a week here. I'm sorry, can you hang on a sec? Gotta close this window. Melania's out there blowing bubbles for Eric. <laughs> Dad, I got one in my mouth. It tastes like soap. Tremendous, amazing. Okay, Peter, your main job here is to go in rooms before me to make sure there's no static electricity. Don't go in there, it's not safe. Well done, Peter. Everyone, welcome to our new place. I think we're gonna enjoy the Beltway lifestyle. Washington, D.C. is a wonderful city to call home. And will we be putting our kids in the local public schools? No, I would not recommend it. Dibs on the bedroom in which an intern got murdered. Oh, I want the intern murder bedroom. There's no need to fight, kids. An intern has been murdered in each of the bedrooms. <gasps> well, I think this sucks. I want to go back to Quahog. But we just got here, sweetie. Tomorrow at James Woods High, it's scoliosis spine check day. It's the one day a year I get touched. Meg, your father got this great new opportunity, and we need to support him. Let's give DC a chance, huh? Yeah, Meg, trust me. Before long, we'll fit right in here, like a cowboy in a Chinese Starbucks. This is the most strangest place ever. Yee ha! Oh, this ain't so different. This is so exciting. I've never been to a fancy White House party before. We're happy you're here, Mrs. Griffin, Mr. Griffin, and we're glad you brought your two children and former governor, Chris Christie. That's like the fourth person who's called Meg Chris Christie. <sighs> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry everyone thinks you're a historically unpopular fatso from New Jersey. Whatever, I just wanna go home. Oh, you can't go home yet. We haven't even served dinner. And I hope you saved your appetite, because later we're all wiping our ass with the Constitution. Hi, Brian Griffin. They let me write some of the liberal jokes. How you liking them? Good, there's more coming. Folks, to drink this evening, we've got red wine, white wine, and a fifth of bourbon. What'll you have, disgraced political oddity Roger Stone? I'll take the fifth. <laughs> that works on two levels. Layered. Man, the Trump White House is so awesome. And for sure it's not crawling with Russians. That's for actual other American at this party. So, what kinds of things do you hearing from our Mr. USA president? Well, I don't know, fellow American, but here's my Gmail login and password, because I know I can trust you with it. Wonderful. Now to please excuse, I have very aching gut from eating so much apple cake. Ha! <laughs> Doesn't get more American than that. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just looking for the exit. I didn't mean to... Holy girl boner. Ivanka Trump has a gentle breeze indoors. Tell those kids, if they ever want to see their parents again, they'll make the shoes. Do you know who you're dealing with? My husband is the son of a felon who went to prison for blackmailing his brother-in-law by entrapping him with a prostitute and then mailing a copy of the tape to his own sister! That stuff happened for real. Is everything okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry to be out of sorts. I just... Sometimes I wish I could meet someone else whose dad is a fat idiot who once had a hit television show and who over time has worn out his welcome. You know, Meg's dad is all... Shut up, Tiffany. Yeah, shut up, Tiffany. Meg, I think you'd look amazing in my brand of lifestyle products that are designed to represent a poor person's idea of what a rich person would wear. You think so? Trust me. When I'm done with you, you'll be pretty enough to marry an orthodox Jewish son of a felon who's too stupid to get into Harvard the normal way. And whose voice is way higher than you thought it would be? Hi, honey. Ready for dinner? Stewie, where have you been? Oh, many American baby things am I doing. So, what is your favorite ballistic missile launch codes? Whoa, was that Meg?
That girl is pretty. So pretty by DC standards. With GEICO, you can save up to 15% on car insurance. Wow! Two-thirds of the people here are talking about me. Because you're beautiful, Meg. Thanks to you. Come on, let me introduce you to the president. He's kind of like my boyfriend. Uh, hang on, he's still getting ready. Hey, Dad, I want you to meet my new friend, Meg. Pleased to meet you. I've got to run, Dad. Uh, thanks again for getting me plastic surgery in my teens. Um, yeah, anyway. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. This is amazing. Yesterday, I was at Quahog Pond, pulling out carps just to watch them suffocate. And now look at me, with the winner of the 46th largest electoral college victory of all time. And I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of your board game, and your beef products, and your fraudulent university, and- Oh my god! Oh please, every president since Washington has done this. Dearest Martha, I cannot wait to once again place my hand onto your gates of Venus. My darling Bess, tonight I'm going to drop the big one onto your Pacific theater. Hey, Barbara Bush, working late, sleeping in office, crazy headache, you look like my mom. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Tim Tucker, not my twin brother, Tom. Our top story, mentally challenged boys' t-shirts. Are they getting even longer? Um, guys, I gotta tell you something. Last night at the White House, President Trump touched me inappropriately. What? Meg, that's my boss. All right, this is my career you're talking about. I spent a whole day working on this. You want me to just throw away in one day what I've spent a whole day trying to build? A whole day's worth of work, poof, gone in a day. Meg, you expect us to believe that the President of the United States would grab a woman by her That's ridiculous! How could you not believe me? Oh, hang on, CNN's on, where I'm the loudest guy on an overcrowded panel. This country needs stronger border security. Our border security is the strongest in the world. What we need is to take care of our children. I can't get an erection. You think giving them amnesty is fair to the people who are already here? They're contributing to the economy. I've tried all the herbs. Amnesty is never the answer. It's not amnesty. It's recognizing their contributions to our country. They said to meditate, but I keep falling asleep. We need stronger vetting. And to enforce the laws already on the books. I'm terrified of being alone with my wife. It's too much pressure. Well, nothing's ever going to change if Congress isn't willing to compromise. Exactly my point. A wall would solve this. I wake up with an erection, but never when she's in the bed with me. A wall would solve nothing. These children have rights. I spent three grand on a sandals vacation thinking that might do it. Know what it was? Me being limp on a lazy river. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you to Peter Griffin. No, don't send me home to my wife. Democrats. That's why we went to sandals? Dad, did you hear what I said? Sorry, Meg, I gotta go to work. What? You're still gonna work for that man after he assaulted me? Meg, you gotta stop with these stories. People hate Alaya. Just like closed captioning stenographers hated the Sleepy Hollow guy for some reason. The man I saw was wearing some kind of old military uniform, like a red coat. He had something on his hand. I don't know, like a branding. Did he carry a broad axe? What? The mark on his hand. Is it a bow? How do you know that? Oh, no, 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 it can't be. Hey, who is he? When's the last time you saw him? When I cut off his head. Okay, I'll take your questions. Me with a fake mustache. America wants to know what you're packing up there. I've heard 11 inches, true? All right, that's enough from you. Me with a funny hat? I also have heard 11 inches. Okay, any non-11-inch questions? Me with an old-timey wig? I've heard four hand breaths. <laughs> Mr. President, the press briefing went very well. Many people are saying it was the best press briefing in all of history. Mr. Griffin, you're not speaking to President Trump. That's a butternut squash. Oh. Well, if this lumpy orange garbage vegetable is here, then where's President Donald Trump?